Now, before we go further into this video and start showing stuff on our website, I just want to make sure that I add this app into the settings.py file of our project. So if you open up the settings.py file, you will see if you scroll down a little bit, there is this thing called installed underscore apps. So we have to add an app which is called my site inside this installed underscore apps. Otherwise Django is not going to recognize our app and it's going to throw you an error sooner or later if not right now. So now that we have added it to our settings.py file, let's actually show something on our website. And this is this part is really exciting because for the first time you guys will be able to show something on your web browser that is going to be some kind of rendering of an HTML or some kind of a text. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to our urls.py file and we are going to go over here and what we are going to say is uh, actually before we go into urls.py file, let's go to our views.py file and over here we are going to create a function and we're going to call this function index and we are going to give it a parameter or an argument called request and inside this what we are going to do is we are going to return an http response but first let's actually import it so we're going to write from django.http and we're going to write import http response so basically this http response is a way of sending some kind of a text to our web browser so we are going to return an HTTP response over here and we are just going to say this is freaking working. All right. So this looks pretty good. Now let's go to our URL.py file and what we want is that whenever our uh, in our URL in our web browser if somebody types in hello after our uh, website's name he should go to this views.py file and it should go to this index function and then it should return this HTTP response. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to just copy and paste this from over here and let's press enter. Let's format this properly and let's write hello over here. Hello. Now what we want is whenever a person types in hello after the URL of our website, it should go to this views.py file. So that's why we are going to write views over here. We are just going to write views and then we want it to go to this index function. So we're just going to write views.index. Now it's going to throw an error and it says unresolved referent views. And this is because we haven't imported this views into our urls.py file. So over here, we are just going to write from my site and this is the app's name. So in our case, the app name is my site and we want this views file. So we're going to write from my site import views. And now, as you can see, the error has vanished. So what, what is going to happen is actually, let me just first, uh, let me just show it to you and, uh, yeah, then we're going to see what happens. So we are going to go to our manage.py and if you have forgotten how to execute it, you just need to press Ctrl Alt plus R on your keyboard and this will open up. And then we are just going to run the server. Let's press enter and our server hopefully will run without any problems. And we can go over here, open up our server. And as you can see, there is an error which says page not found because in our urls.py file, we have only given two URL paths. One is admin and this will open up the administration panel. And then the second is hello. And we are seeing this page because in our settings.py file, so if we go to our settings.py file, the debug is equals to true. If you turn it to false, you won't be able to see this page not found page and uh, you won't be able to basically debug it. So anyways, to make sure that we are able to see our page, we are going to write hello over here. And let's write hello, press enter. And as you can see, it says this is freaking working. So congratulations guys, for the first time, you have uh, printed something on your web browser using Django. So our Django is working and you are on your path to becoming a great Django developer.